So as I said, uh, thanks to the duck with Lewis, New Zealand given an extra 10 runs so with five wickets in hand, 10 runs. Miranda Sawag just uh, saying a, a private prayer as he always does. 101, a strike rate over 204 matches. Gautam Gambia, because uh, Sachin Tendulkar is not playing today and uh, together these two in 23 matches. Probably a little harsh on himself, but he can make amends here. Some definite movement in the air for him. Oh, that's a very nice cover drive from Gambia. And he's on the way with a boundary. Get! Oh, in the air, there was some interest there, but it's going to go for four. Sawag just sets himself, doesn't bother moving his feet. He just shifts his weight a little, and it could have gone straight into Ross Taylor's hands, but he did hit it well. Straight back over the top, half a chance. And it's cut off. Got a good hand on that, Mills. In my stadium in Christchurch. Chance is here twice now. Sawag could have been caught. Very difficult chances, mind you. Well, what a blow. What a blow into the scoreboard. Well, I've seen a lot of sixes hit at this ground. But, and what a result. Just coming right onto the middle of the bat. And look at this. Smashes in to the Perry sign on the scoreboard. Right, that was the in-swinging seamer. What's he going to follow it up with? Slow ball. Tucked through the onside. This will be four more. He's Mills. He's Sayway straight through. Cover point for four. Oh, nothing wrong with the delivery at all. This is just genius at work. So Wags got him one, two, two bounces over extra cover. 45 for none off the six. And Verinda Saywag's pull shot for four. Familiar sights, especially for Ian O'Brien, who's been short throughout the series. As it brings up the half century for the Indians. 51 partnership coming in quick time, just the start they wanted. Right, four more. So remember, look at he's been strong, but down the ground he shows when O'Brien over pitches, he's just as dangerous, small margin of error. There's no half measures with him whatsoever. He's not afraid to take the aerial route. He's he's back past the ball up. Hit on the up. So pressure on O'Brien straight away. Two, two boundaries and two balls. Pitched again, and that's the easiest of the three. On his legs, too full, not accurate enough. And he pays the price again. And as well as Sevag has played, I must say that the New Zealand bowling just hasn't been consistent enough. The lengths have been different. There have been uh, deliveries that have been too full, Very short deliveries as well. The bowlers have drifted onto the pads. And the air uh, could be out over the top. And the fourth four of the over. Wonderful over from India. Wonderful shooting from Sayway. It's 65 for no loss. You see the wrists. To bring up 50, we're into Sayway. Consistent and powerful. We've got India off to a great start, chasing New Zealand's 281. Fantastic 50 of just 31 balls. Beautiful shot through the covers from Gambia to finish off another productive over from India. What a beautiful shot. We're talking about Sawag, but that's as good as anything we've seen tonight.
And they'll be keen to do is make sure they get 20 overs in to make a game. But then the other thing is we shot earlier, there seems like more rain around. Not sure it's going to turn, but if you can get one just to hold and maybe move fractionally away and take the edge. Oh, that's why he has a slip because the ball will skid through after pitching now. That's not the plan, that's four more to India. Four more to Gambia, too short from Vittori. Didn't skid on, held up. Gambia puts it away. Yes, it's a loose delivery and put away nicely. Short from O'Brien. And to the boundary, finer than Sewe wanted. Didn't come out of the middle of the bat. He had enough on it to get it over the keeper and down for four. Some tough ass to come back, ball on the power play. Especially if you're bowling there and bowling to this man. That's gone a long way. Great move from India again with the power play. Yes, and a move on straight away. You can't ask for something better. Boundary first, and this one, he smacked it over midwicket. Gets into such good positions. He's uh, got an eye of a dead fish and a tremendous bat speed. That's not behind point, that's in front of point, whether it's got enough on it, it has. Many times when these Indian batsmen hit the ball, it doesn't get to the boundary. This occasion, no different. Yes, he's a good player of spin bowling. And that's not a great start. Might have been a variation in pace. May have been the seamer, may have been a cutter. But it's the line and length where he's paid the price. This time over the cover, over the offside. Not the timing that we've come to see from Britain to say, Wag. Not the pitch shot to stop Stanley Vittori to field. It's done a little bit in pace, but the same result. I think the slow ball's worked. Sayway is in such good form and those wrists are so strong he was able to work the ball wider and still get it to the fence for four. I think the biggest challenge for him, uh, Stephen, has been getting big scores in the one-day game. Well, he's over cover. Thompson's gone wider. Sayway's adjusted with a casual flick of the bat and just elevates it and eases it over point for four more. Well, this is his favourite shot. Finish the over. Good one again for India. It's 126 without loss. Down the ground this time. That'll be four more for Verinda Sawag. Six off the over from Vittori. 132 without loss. Oh, there's no respect. There's an answer to your question, Smithy. Absolutely no respect at all. No. It's unanimous. Every bowler has got the same peppering. No one at all is hiding tonight. Kyle Mills is probably feeling quite good at five overs, one for 29. There's no respect there at all. It's in the slot, admittedly, but look, flat. It's not that high in terms of elevation at all. It's a yard to the offside, and that was four. No one would have got within Kui of it. And a little bit of uh, finesse from Gambia. It was there to work down the line at the leg side. Finally quite wide, and they obliged. 150 up. And of course, the 150 partnership as well. Just a shake of hands and a little... Man hug. That's what I say. It's the Tory to continue. Zaywag on 96. <laughs> Weak side, but it's just pad, I believe. Is it? Is it pad? Rudy Kurtzen's going to say yes. He's going to spoil the party momentarily. But it is four more to India. Burinda Zaywag. 
Straight off the pan. Can't claim that. Good try, though. Nice. Make him wait, boys. Go well, man. Striking at just under 100. Here we go, 97 Savag. Listen for the roar, Hamilton. Richardson's asleep. It's just fantastic. Just fantastic. What a display of hitting. Down the ground again. This time out to mid-wicket. Well, they've got the V8s here. Dooley and Nord about a month's time or three weeks. If they have half as much fun as uh, the crowd have had here, they'll have a great weekend. Brilliant. Yeah, 17th, 18th, 19th. Oh, next month, we had supercars arrive. And so Ag arrives on that table there. 60 deliveries. This is the 20th over being bowled, so after this it will be a match. Now uh, Francis Payne is uh, working away. That's four more. I don't think they'll cut that off. They will have to be 93 at this stage to win on the Duckworth Lewis system. 93 for none. So they're just, just in front. Yeah. So at the end of this, uh, she's a game anyway. So unless there's a downpour in the next five balls, and New Zealand can hop off uh, uh, so far behind the eight ball, it doesn't matter. Oh, I thought they'd try and stay out there. But Daniel Vittori, he just... He held on to the ball and had a look at Gary Baxter, who's drying the ball, he's trying his best to make sure they got off the park. Very hard to come back from 2 0 down with one game to go anyway, but I guess 2 0 looks better than 3 0. The good news is we have about to start play again. Black Caps are out on the field. Reduced game once again, 51 runs required now by India. 220 is the target. 36 over game, so 16.4 overs left. And they've just been superb tonight. Both these players don't underestimate the innings that Gautam Gambia has played here. He's been a terrific foil for Saywak. How's he going to play this? Do you think he's going to try and get him so back and dropped? I think he was dropped by McGlash, and I think there was a genuine edge there. this guy it's gone very high and over the top once more for six the over 188 for that loss didn't time it perfectly but he doesn't need to and so he does he hits it in front of the wicket all right hits it splendidly for four playing conservative role but he shows that he's got the power as well Elliot over pitches David area for left hand is on the onside get the bottom hand shovel the bottom hand through the ball Braces away from ball. Oh, he's just thumped that there might be men out there protecting the boundary he doesn't care Simon here and Cuddle's in the middle for 200 partnership and why not glove tap, Cuddle and great entertainment it's a productive area for him 6101 I think it is and bring up 200 partnership with your good mate down the other end It's a 
good reply. And here comes the rain once more. Wow. It's been the scourge of the New Zealand cricket season this year. It really has. This season has been punctuated by rain delays through the West Indies tour. Now into the Indian tour. And it's very frustrating for all. So she's all over here once again in Hamilton. The rain has had this, the last say, but not before India has completely dominated the match to win by 10 wickets under the Duckworth Lewis system. Now they've taken an unbeatable 3 0. And as we look at that to scorecard in the background, that 201 for none is the highest ever unbroken first wicket partnership to win a one day international in the history of the game. The highest ever first wicket partnership to win a one-day international. There have been higher first wicket stands, but they haven't been there at the end of the game. So Sabag 125, not out. Gambia, 63, not out in support. Just a magnificent batting performance, and that's on top of New Zealand's performance.